So I would like to show you how to create business manager account with Facebook. And the reason I like business manager is because it keeps your um, personal page and personal feed and data away from your business data. And when you're managing more than one um, Facebook account, it's also great because it's uh, clean and it's clear. Um, for analytics as well as billing purposes. Um, so it just keeps everything neat, tight and um, organized. So the way we would create a business manager account is we go to business.facebook.com and then we'll click on create account. So we'll log in with our existing Facebook account and now we'll click create create account. So let's name our business. Click continue. And then your name and your business account. Click finish. So this is the interface of business manager. This is what you will see every time you come in here. So clearly first we'll need to create or claim a page as well as add account. So we'll go to business settings and then we can first add more people if we would like and the way it would work. So now you can actually work and collaborate with other people. So you would input their email address here, the one they registered with for Facebook, and then you can add them as business manager admin or business manager employee. And um, clearly you can see that admin um, is able to do everything and employee has limited um, access to information and business page. Then you would go into pages and either add new page or um, claim a page. So if you already own a business page, all you have to do is click claim page and then insert the URL or Facebook page name. And if you're admin of the page, it will be automatically added to this business account or you can also request access to a page. So if you're not an admin, but you would like to work on somebody else's business page and collaborate with them, um, you would go in here and once you have uh, created a new page or claim the page, you can add more pages, business pages by requesting access. Then you'll go into add accounts. And again, you can create a new ad account, request access to existing account or claim it. So um, if you would like to start from scratch with this business manager account, then you would want to create new ad account. But if you already advertised on Facebook, say through your personal page and you advertise your business page, then the nice thing about it is that you can claim an ad account and that way all of the statistics, analytics and billing will travel to your new business account. And the way you would do it is you would go to an existing ad account and just copy um, the ad account ID right into here. And again, if you're the only owner of that ad account, it will be added automatically. Now we'll add Instagram accounts. And here we can only claim new Instagram account. So once you click on this button, um, you will be prompted to input your username and password. So this is pretty straightforward. And now finally, we can insert pixels and we'll have to change that because every business account comes with one pixel. So we'll create a Facebook pixel. We'll name the pixel. We'll agree to Facebook terms. Click next. So we'll be able to set up now, set up pixel. And we can use an integration or tag manager, or we can simply copy and paste this code. So this is the code for pixel base code and you can copy it and insert it in your website yourself. Or if you're working with a web development, um, you can again, simply copy this code and send it to them. Once this is done, you click next. 
Now we can install event code again, um, different events such as um, search, view content, add to cart, add to wish list, um, purchase, add payment info, you get it. So make sure that you use the right pages um, to assign these different events and then input this little code snippet into those specific pages. And then you can also paste an event code right here. Once you're done, click next and check pixel status. It usually starts reporting right away when you have a um, traffic on your website. So then click close and you will see pixel activity right here. And all of the URLs that fire this pixel. And then once you are set up with all of those, click around and set up your business, your payment methods, um, set up your ads reporting and analytics, as well as you can start creating and save your audiences, product catalogs, um, videos, audience insight, and so forth. So this is a really great and powerful tool that keeps all of your business assets organized, easy to use, ready to use, and away from your personal data. Hopefully this was really helpful.